Get him. As I walk through the curtain, head tilt down. Venom running through my veins. It's about to go down. Forgive him because he do not understand. I'm more than a fighter. Get him. I'm more than a man. I'm a boy. Put your hands up in the air. They were going to get all of their money's worth in one match. And they did. They got their souls touched, that's for sure. Yeah, Once I'm again, you guys have turned a building of people into a building of fans. But I have to tell you, valiant effort by all tag teams, with a possible exception of a little subterfuge that won uh, Body Magic that match. Hey, I'm still trying to figure out what happened. So until I get back to my guys and figure out what, what happened, I mean, I'll leave that alone. But right now, we got to, you know, I'm trying to figure out who's more louder, these crazy zombie fans in Minnesota or Justin King. I'm really trying to figure out who, who's who got the bigger mouth. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, C-Red, of course, is talking about the fact that we are at the zombie prep call, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And this building is filled with hundreds of people dressed up as zombies. We've been drinking for the better part of the day. Yeah, buddy. I mean, we got Mario and Luigi zombies and Herman Monster zombies and ballerina and doctor zombies. It's just zombies. There's zombies everywhere. There's some cute zombies now. Don't don't get me wrong. Never thought I'd hear that. Those I, two words coupled together, but there it is. Yeah. Jake O'Neal going right, going right back where he started, baby. He's going back to the basics, baby. He's taking Cobra to school, baby. And we've seen, we've seen these guys, we've seen them in the ring before. So I'm expecting uh, a, a good matchup. Cobra with those colorless eyes looks very much at home with this crowd. That's why they're calling his name, because, you know, his personality is like these characters. It's Indeed. dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Ooh, I, man, the I, torque on that arm, see red. Well, I could have said this crowd is like his mouth. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> just, just saying. Look at Jake. Look at Jake working that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We're going back to wrestling one-on-one, -on -one, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have to be honest with you, Cobra is no stranger to uh, wrestling here. Big shoulder block. These gentlemen seem pretty evenly matched physically. Certainly different styles. Look at this. Wow. That skin the cat drop kick gets me every I, time. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh! Here comes the Cobra out onto the floor, right in front of us, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey. Justin uh, King. Uh, we're back here. Uh, <laughs> Justin King on the floor, tending to his man. Do not fly into the commentators. <laughs> this will be the third time tonight, I think. C Red. There's not much room around this ring. We got a lot of drunk, aggressive zombies here. All I can we get a sign made up? Please do not touch the commentating table. Whenever I'm ready. Nobody would pay any attention if we did, see Red. <laughs> They'd probably use it as a weapon. <laughs> it's the ugly man. Trouble right out in front here with us. Taking his sweet time getting back in that ring. I'm sure he's worse for the wear after being sent head over heels. Yeah, he was that top rope. He wasn't expecting that. Jake, it's, not gonna wait for him. <laughs> I, Jake O'Neill looks like he spent every minute since the last show in the gym. Cobra missed with that elbow. And we wow! See, we see it already bandaged. Two, up! Uh, that high cross body, good heavens. I thought that was three. I thought we had got a quick match tonight. I think Drew Thomas thought it was three. 
Back elbow from Jake O'Neal. No, no. Oh! Man, that'll knock the wind out of your lungs. Pulls Jake off that second rope. And that, you know how normally we talk about the ring is hard, right? Yep. This is an even harder ring. <laughs> yes, I heard many of the uh, wrestlers complaining about how hard the ring was. Lovely though it may be. Two. Only a two count for the Cobra. Working over Jake O'Neill. Again, we've got to remember that, again, we've had both of these competitors in the ring numerous times. Oh, man. And I think by now, it's, it's, it's each guy knowing the other's opponent, if you understand what I'm saying. They, they, they've not only been in there with each other, but they've studied each other. Yes, indeed. Hard to predict what you can get out of the Cobra. But you can tell that Jake O'Neill has, has certainly studied. But I go back to my point of what, what does the Cobra think Justin King gives him as an advantage? Because I can't figure it, to be quite frank. Besides the bean pie, I couldn't answer that. <laughs> I mean, you know, I feel like, you know. Jake O'Neill fighting to his feet here, c Red. Oh, Ooh. and Cobra cuts him off with that knee to the back. I mean, I don't know, and I'm still trying to figure out what is he bringing to the table. You know, I mean this with all due respect, C Red, but my son and a six year old, wow! Just turned six, had a birthday party. I saw a couple of those kids eat a, a few cupcakes, drink a lot of Kool Aid, and they appeared to vibrate. And that is how Justin King is moving around the ring. So much motion in every step. He looks like a kid who's had way too much sugar. He's had too much of something. And the bad Ooh. problem is he gave it to Cobra. I mean, again. Cobra's really softening up that back, see Red. The ax handles and the knees. Again, the Cobra is, is trying to figure out a body part to wear down, which, let's be honest, is a brilliant strategy. I mean, if you can, you know, you find a weakness and you exploit it. You're here. So as soon as he tossed Jake off that second rope, Jake's back was in pain. It was killing him. You can see it on his face. I can see it on his face now as he fights to his feet. Oh, man. Right back to the back. Cobra's so dangerous with all of his limbs. Not a big power move guy, but the strikes he read. The strikes are what'll get you with the Cobra. Apropos though it may be. Well, again, that's what a Cobra does, strike. Indeed. But again, he... Oh! oh really? Justin King with those spring-loaded really? shoes. It goes so very well with his suit. Look at that mark on... Jake O'Neal's back from that stomp. And now he's slapping Jake O'Neal. How disrespectful. And that's what I'm saying. As a manager, you should never put your hand on anybody. If the Cobra is so good, let Cobra do what he needs to do and finish him off. But no. And there he comes from the apron of the floor with that big double axe handle. Once again, these gentlemen are right out in front of us, C-Red. Oh, man. Thunderous blow to the back. And now right again to oh. that spine. See how, how dumb the cover is? He just said he's going to feel that tomorrow. I would have thought he, he just felt that. Just, just Jake O'Neal, well, he is feeling it now. He's going to need a lot of Long Island ice teas ah, to wear some of that pain away. I think Tori, Tori might be good. These fans registering their displeasure at wow. the Cobra. Wow! Hold on. Listen to him, C-Red. Now, earlier, some of them were chanting for the Cobra. 
how quickly zombies turn. Here we go. Yes, indeed. They are a fickle bunch. Well, I'm glad they didn't do that to me. <coughs> oh, uh, man. Uh-oh. Ah. Here we go. Ooh. Uh-uh. You don't want to get into that with Jake. You don't. Oh, man. Oh! Duck. Oh. oh. Answering with three of his own. Backslide coming up. Oh, can it go? Two. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Presence of mind by the Cobra. Big roll up. And, and more pain on that back of Jake's. Yes, indeed, that's all torque. He came down and gravity was not that cool to him. I mean, I'm trying to figure out why is the ref just allowing Cobra just to have a handful of here. Look at this. Uh-oh. Can Jake fight out of this? Or is his back too shot? That's that's the question. Good heavens. I don't know. See, right? That's all the Cobra's weight. Ah, right there. Right on the small of that back. Wow. The crowd saying some language that we dare not repeat. <laughs> yes, indeed. This is one of Resistance Pro's very few 21 and over shows. Oh, and they're acting over 21. And they are a colorful crowd, if you will pardon the expression. The Cobra looking for a backslide of his own. Oh, no. Look at that. Hoping for a submission here on that destroyed back of Jake O'Neill. And look at Cobra trying to squeeze those arms together and squeeze the life out of Jake O'Neill. Jake's saying no, but I'm sure some part of his mind is saying yes. I I want to I want to give up. Yeah, live to fight another day. But the will inside Jake O'Neill. Oh my God! I mean, I know from personal experience with his battles with Marche Rocket, he's got this undying will. So much respect. Wow! wow. Oh man! Just one opening was all he needed, C Red. Look at his back, though, C Red. His back is shot, covered in welts. Slowly pulling himself up. Cobra misses. Close line. And another one. And a third, third. close line. Reversal. Oh! There's another one. Two. Oh! For a moment there, Justin King stopped moving. I think he thought the match was over. Did he stop talking? I don't think so. <laughs> Jake is feeling it. Jake is feeling it. He's feeling it his time. Look at this. Big drop kick. And a nip up. Oh, man. Oh. See, that's what I'm talking about. That wheel from Jake O'Neal. That spirit that knows no defeat. He's not, he's not quitting right now. Waiting, stalking his prey, stalking the Cobra. Looking for that super kick. Oh. Oh, man, right on that back. One, two. two. Wow. That back has got to feel like a tenderized steak right now, C-Red. He's and to gone. have it broken over the Cobra's knee like that, holy smoke. And this crowd is certainly telling the Cobra and just the King what they think about him. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. People might not notice that, but you know how we know when a chop is very loud and powerful? Yep. When we can hear through these headphones. Oh. In the mush. In the mush, he's out. I'm not sure what happened there, C Ren. I do. Drew Thomas was making the count. I do. Justin King Just, slithered in and slithered right back out. Right. Just to cause enough of distraction for the referee to stop the count. This match was probably over. What? Oh. Can this be it? Oh. Jake's back simply couldn't take any more punishment. And now he wants a microphone. <laughs>